Anithui Blood Twin. A lot of people probably think that he's trash. I can see where they're coming from because he's not exactly like the craziest champion, especially for being a Void Legendary Champion. But I don't think he's completely trash. I, I think he's actually pretty strong. He's come clutch for me in Live Arena specifically. And that's basically where I use him. Currently, he's in a two turn stone skin, but I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. I don't think he hits that hard and, and his stats aren't exactly trash either. Not the best, but I feel like we could, we could change this up a bit. So his A1 basically just attacks and then destroys max HP by 30%. The A2 is going to be a three hitter. This is probably like his hardest hitting move and the one that I like to use, especially against somebody like Sun Wukong. And then his A3 is going to be an AOE, places a leech. And this is nice, but it doesn't hit hard as, or hit as hard, or maybe it does, but because it's only a one hitter, I'm not really noticing it. It doesn't feel like it hits too hard, but this right here is the main thing. Heals and then blocks revive. Not the heals, but he kills somebody and then blocks the revive on them. Uh, increase the ally attack in all battles. We have a soul re ble uh, blessing on him. It's a low blessing. So once I get a higher blessing, I might consider something else. But for now, I'm, I'm digging soul reap. Here are the masteries. As always, do not blindly copy the masteries. But you can go ahead and blindly copy these masteries. Not too much thought was put into here. I just basically wanted to go ahead and get Helm Smasher. When looking at building an Ethwe Blood Twin, two turns of Stone Skin helps him to stay alive so that he doesn't get clapped from the get-go, or he has a, a better chance of staying alive off the rip. Looking at the specific stats, there is room for improvement in terms of enchantments and ascensions. We'll get to that in a bit. And we're looking for damage stats, of course, as well as speed. In Live Arena, you're gonna wanna go as fast as you can. Of course, there's room for improvement, as I said, but these are the specific stats. We're not too worried about HP or defense or anything like that. It helps, but the main priority stats are always going to be attack, a decent amount of speed, 100% crit rate, and as much crit damage as you can get. But when it comes to Live Arena, you're going to see that he just doesn't hit that hard because he doesn't have any ignore defense gear on him. So let's look at this. We're going to put the buff on so he has increased attack. He has the increased crit damage. And let's look at this A3 first. See, look at that. We only killed Sun Wukong, but these two guys should have been an easy clap. So let's get this guy, and Georgia will swipe up here. You see the damage comparison now. You know, granted, Georgia himself does have his own mechanics here. He's got he's better built, to be honest. He's in instinct gear. He's got higher blessings. Anithui just doesn't hit as hard as I would like him to. But that's not to say that he doesn't put in work, because as you can see here, I used Anithui here, 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 and here as well as here and here. Every team that I, every fight, every live arena fight that I did, the last one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 fights that I did, all of my victories came from teams that incorporated an E3 Blood Twin. Does that mean that Blood Twin is a live arena, you know, god or, or whatever? You know, I, I, I would, he's a demon for sure. I mean, he's from the demon spawn, but I mean, this, this goes to show something, right? A lot of people, love to use Sun Wukong. A lot of people rely on revivers to bring champions back from the dead. Well, guess what? Especially like, look at this. Cardiel, I remember this fight too. He placed the uh, revive, the revive on death, but Anithui Blood Twin killed Wukong and Cardiel and then quickly took care of his mythical champion. And it, you know, it was a clap from there. His warlord lasted, but nobody was coming back. Look at these two fights where I didn't use Anithui Blood Twin right died i lost of course i made my mistakes here and um you know rng sometimes you just you know fumble I, I fumble a lot the reason i bring this up is because i was thinking to myself well hmm what if i changed up oh that's georgia what if i changed up how anithui blood twin is built you know it's been a while his build is outdated why not try to rebuild him with some lethal maybe a merciless set and actually we're not going to be able to do a merciless set i don't have yeah i only have one merciless if you're not end game and you happen to have blood twin early on you know stats over sets do whatever you can you could also do cruel because cruel is um something that ignores five percent you know three of those 15 percent ignore enemy defense so that's an option there but if you're a little bit into the later game mid game you're looking at Savage, you're looking at Lethal as well. This is a Forge Pass 
thing. So pay to win, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And then Merciless, if you can get Merciless gear. I'm gonna roll some gear up and then we're gonna rework him. I'm aiming for one set of lethal to ignore 25% of enemy defense, as well as one turn of stone skin. We need four pieces here. And all right, here is the relatively new and improved. I actually don't even know if he's gonna be considered improved. We'll see. Here are the pieces of gear, still looking at the same stats, stat priorities. I'm gonna rework the ascensions and max these out, but I'm still waiting for CVC. I really wanna re uh, rework these to uh, attack. However, I'm out of chaos dusks, uh, dust, and this really needs to get reworked to crit damage as well. But again, dust and the speed glyphs, are lacking so we're not going to be able to boost any speed here so he's going a lot slower we need to uh we're gonna have to rework this to attack percent as well and i gotta rework this speed boot to speed he doesn't need accuracy for anything so we're not worried about that we have triple defense with defense attack on the ascension attack here as well that's what we're looking for unfortunately i reworked this it just went to hp i really wanted crit damage but you know it is what it is but we did get the um, crit damage on the ascension and when i reworked it we added crit damage here as well triple speed here with a plus four arm on the speed with the enchantment there's so many different names for everything here 6k attack 600 less attack now his speed dropped from 258 to 234 so he's going slower and he increased his crit damage from 269 to 275 all right, looks like we got a toughie here. So let's go ahead and first use Anithwi and try to kill uh, our Mons here. All right, so we're able to take out our Mons, so we don't have to worry about Siegfried or Marishka bringing him back, but we still have these two Mythicals here. I don't know how we're going to be able to do... I don't even know what this guy does. And obviously Siegfried, you know, is... Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? This will actually be nice, I think. We're going to see how hard we can hit against Harima. I'll take it. Dude, all these mythical champions, I feel like I can't even compete <laughs> in live arena at all. I feel like I need mythical champions, but... Jesus. Okay, stone skin, Harima. That does not bode well for us. Okay, what are we going to do here? Because both of these guys are about to pop off. I feel like Harima might be the one to focus on first. So let's get rid of... Never mind, we're not hitting hard enough. Okay. Only 20k against Harima. That was three hits. Three hits, about 20k. So, oh, and we get our buffs removed too. I know what Makage does because I have Makage, but I don't know what, what, uh, what this one does. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. Let's put you to sleep. Doesn't Queen Eva block revive though? So we might be. Wait, why did I get petrified? Where'd the petrification come from? Oh, you've got to be sucking dick, dude. What the heck? What is. Th I'm out of here, dude. Who is this? Look at that. What? 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 Uh, our buy? All right, we got another live one here. This is um, another mythical champion, the uh, Stargazer champion, whatever his name is. Let's see what this, if we were able to, uh... nope, yes, no, fuck, what the fuck? That was like so many multiple hits, how come he didn't die? Jesus, dude, get out of here. All right, so we block revive on Stargazer. Let's see if we can survive this onslaught that we're about to receive from Harima and Alil here. Locked out, cool down. Moto Sega, please make a move, dude. Good choice, good choice. Probably gonna clap. Yep. And we're going to have to... Well, we have increased attack. Let's get rid of Warlord, get him out of the way here. And we're, we're not gonna be able to do anything quite yet. Let's just hit... How much do we hit for Harima? Oh, that's right, Demon Slayer. That's right, she's got that passive. And Ethelie's not gonna be too effective against her. We're gonna be able to put Harima to sleep. We'll see what Alil does. I actually don't even know what this guy does. It seems like he hits hard. Wasn't he a bad void champion? I thought he was considered a bad void champion. Oh my god, what the shit? He's actually going kind of fast, too. Um, yeah, Anithwi, come back. Maybe we can... Yeah, there it is. Shazam. So... <laughs> I don't know what the hell was up with that. I thought with all those ally attacks and the multi-hits, even Georgia hitting three times, I thought Galathir would have been 
uh, put to bed, but he just stood there. What the heck? All right, this guy in the drafting section chose like three mythicals and I had to ban one of them or not two mythicals one that I wasn't familiar with so I just banned it because I was just like I, I don't I don't know what to do with that but we're going to I know I should hit the a2 first I just want to see what his a3 does okay so that was pretty nice I'm gonna have to see exactly how much damage that was but um it, I mean it took care of the job and I'm also happy to see that even though soul reap comes up it's still enough to put the block revive on him not that he had a reviver and it was going to matter but you know still all right let's see so we go first and let's give it to anithui and let's hit the a3 once more okay we got rid of wukong we don't have to worry about him but unfortunately armand is alive so it's game over basically once armand takes that turn we're, we're done of course. Let's just watch this. Let's just let's just see this bullshit happen. Yeah, so I think it's more more so reliable to see okay, so what I could have done was I could have honestly just given it to George. Is there something on George's Oh, those are rats on George's back. George is back. Um what I could have done was use George clapped Rhonda and then hit the A2 just because Georgia hits so damn hard. But the other thing I could have also done was have, um, what's his name? Uh, Inithui hit the A2 on Armands and that would have been uh, nice to see as well. But yeah, this is just ridiculous. So I've had the last two, two or three, I think they banned uh, the last two or three draft picks. They banned Inithui, so I had to leave those because I wasn't about to uh, bother doing live arena if it wasn't for content. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Dude, this guy needs to pick somebody. There you go. Pick I a, a good option for this fight would have also been to use Tormin. There's about to be a server maintenance. I don't know when it, when it's going to happen, but... All right, so of course, if he goes first, I'd be surprised if uh, Lissandra went first, to be honest. And we're going to give it to you. And let's just... We really should hit the A2. Let's hit the A3. Okay. Never mind. That, we got a lucky, lucky turn off there. Turn out there. Jal, what are you doing, bro? Is he... He's doing the thing where he's just going to run the timer out. Just so he feels like he's got some control. And then he might just straight up try to leave as soon as he hits. So we're going to... Okay, so he's not leaving yet. He, he might, but we're going to, you know, play the same game that uh, he wanted to play. Yeah, see, Jal? We could do that too, dude. Both of us. Both of us can do it. Yeah, both of us can do it. Good job. We ain't good. Yeah. I'm a fat man. Feed it chewing drugs like Pac-Man.